Our top story this afternoon with Russia's invasion of Ukraine almost into its third week and the deaths, devastation and family separations intensifying by the day. The international community is ramping up efforts to support the war-torn country and to try and deter Moscow from further attacks by holding talks and vowing to send more military support to Ukraine. The UN Security Council also held a briefing on the situation. Song Yujin with the latest. Entering the 13th day since the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the United Nations Security Council held a briefing on Ukraine's humanitarian situation Monday local time. The U.S. and its allies urged Russia to allow the safe evacuation of civilians and aid to battlegrounds after Moscow was accused of offering evacuation routes which led to Russia and its key ally, Belarus. We call for the Russian Federation to agree to and honor in good faith Ukrainian proposals for time-bound humanitarian safe passage in specific agreed-upon locations. Russia is advocating humanitarian corridors towards Russia. I don't know of too many Ukrainians who wish to seek refuge in Russia. This is hypocrisy. The Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights has confirmed that at least 406 civilians, including 27 children, have lost their lives since Russia began attacks. However, the real figure is likely to be higher as intense fighting has resulted in delays transferring information. The agency added that more than 1.7 million people have left Ukraine following Moscow's attack. Meanwhile, in an effort to support U.S. forces in Europe, in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the U.S. Department of Defense has ordered the deployment of additional troops and military assets to different parts of Europe. The Pentagon announced on Monday local time that a total of 500 troops and KC-135 refueling aircraft will be dispatched, although the exact number of aircrafts was not specified. This will bring the total number of U.S. military personnel currently stationed in Europe to around 100,000. The U.S. also held an emergency video call with Germany, the U.K. and France on Monday, reaffirming their joint stance that Russia should pay the price for its unprovoked onslaught. The four state leaders also promised to continue security, economic and humanitarian support for Kyiv. Over in Ukraine, a third round of talks with Russia ended with no major breakthroughs. Progress was only made in an agreement to evacuate civilians in Ukraine through humanitarian corridors on Tuesday. Both sides promised to meet for a fourth time in Belarus in the near future, while the foreign ministers of the two countries are slated to meet in Turkey on Thursday, marking their first talks since the invasion began. Song Yujin, Arirang News.